What's good, YouTube? Simo here, and I just want to say, happy Sunday! Uh, let me just click off my favorite Twitter account, the Bandai Traditionalist. Today we're going to talk about Magic the Gathering. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Magic the Gathering, it's a game played by millions and enjoyed by thousands. It has a lot in common with Yu-Gi-Oh!, a company that doesn't care about its product, a player base that's extremely toxic and hard to permeate, a bunch of idiots spending too much money on cardboard. But it also has one thing we don't. No, not an online client. It has fun deck names. In Yu-Gi-Oh!, decks are called Duritron, Virtual World, Guru. In Magic the Gathering, their legacy decks are called shit like Nick Fit, Valka Pox, Counter Sliver Meat Hooks, Dead Guy Ale. Why don't we name our decks stuff like that? In the past, Yu-Gi-Oh! deck names were similar. We had The Answer, Perfect Circle, PK Fire is a modern one that comes to mind, but somehow it's fallen out of practice. Well, I say it's time to bring back fun deck names, and the chat and I have been spending the last hour dreaming up fantastic names for some meta-adjacent decks that are splashing at least one additional archetype, so you can't just call them by their archetype name. First up is Virtual World Hand Loop. Now, Virtual World is a deck that's already extremely powerful by making VFD, aka the very fun dragon, but if you ban VFD, there are still builds of the deck that might be powerful. One of them uses XX Saber Gotham's non-once-per-turn effect to discard a whole bunch of cards out of their opponent's hand. Now, Virtual World Hand Loop is boring, so we've named it CFT. This stands for Chinese Finger Trap. You know, finger trap, hands. Uh, plus, the archetype is a bunch of uh, Chinese pronunciations. Next up, we've got Drytron Herald. Now, there are two major variants of Drytron. Herald is the more popular one. Uh, we've elected to call this Omnitrix. Now, this is one of the more inspired names. Uh, in order to get to their big boss, Drytron will uh, repeatedly activate the non-once-per-turn effect of a card called Cyber Angel Ben 10, who happens to share a name with a protagonist of a children's show who transforms into sexy aliens. What's more important is that that individual has on their wrist an item called the Omnitrix, and Herald of Ultimateness, the end boss of Drytron, is an Omni Negator. Get it? It's funny, interesting, cool, and not cringe. After that, we've got Drytron Megalith. We're calling this one Asteroids. The Drytron are space creatures, and the Megalith are rocks. There you go. Next, we've got Eldlich. Now, Eldlich has about 15 different variants and maybe one playable one. In terms of unplayable ones, we have Eldlich Zoo, which we are calling Pet Cemetery. The Zodiacs are all versions of animals. Uh, bunny Blast is a bunny, Rat Peer is a rat, and Ram Ram is a bastard. And of course, the entire archetype of Eldlich is a bunch of zombies, and Pet Cemetery is Stephen King's book about burying animals in a cemetery where they come back to life and then become mean or something. I uh, sort of fell asleep. I do remember the Ramones song, though. Next, we've got Eldlich 60 card pile. Now, this deck is Eldlich, Dragoon, Dogmatica, Shadow. A name so long that you will incur a slow play penalty just by saying it. We need a better one. Now, people have already speculated that you can call this deck the pile. That's fine. Feel free to call it the pile. But the pile unfortunately shares its name both with Farfa's subscribers, a group of individuals you would never want to be associated with, and every single deck that was being played in grass format was a 60 card pile. So I advocate we call it Mass Grave in order to uh, differentiate that this is the one that plays a bunch of zombie cards. Next is Eldlich Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler the Chaotic Magical Dragon is an extremely powerful 8-star synchro that sees play almost exclusively in this variant of Eldlich. It allows you to excavate cards off the top of your deck and then send them to the graveyard, which thankfully will trigger Eldlich spells in the end step, or in the case of Eldlixers, whenever you'd like. We're calling this one Gold Digger. Excavating is functionally digging off the top of your deck, and everything in Eldlich is gold. That's the that's the whole bit. After that is Eldlich Plague Spreader. Uh, this is the version of the deck that saw that they had banned Jet Synchron and said, no, I'm still playing the Synchro combo version of this deck. Uh, this is not a particularly popular variant of Eldlich, but it does still exist. And this one, chat advocated, we call Spanish Flu. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's funny, right? After that, we've got Eldlich Evil Twin. Uh, this one's easy. Uh, once again, everything in Eldland is golden. These are girls. Golden girls. 
Next, we've got Ad Emancipator Prank Kids. Now, Ad Emancipator is a deck that was uh, previously extremely strong, but sort of fell out of favor as its extremely powerful playmaker in Block Dragon was banned. Uh, now, people have been experimenting with the deck for a while and are starting to see success with a variant of the deck that splashes Prank Kids, a series of child monsters. We're calling this one Schoolhouse Rock. Uh, it's very funny. See, the kids go to school and there's rocks in the deck. Next up is Invoked Dogma. Invoked Dogma, of course, the unholy matrimony of Alistair the Invoker, the absolute heathen, and the Dogmatica cards, the Catholic dragons that have been plaguing every single deck that goes into the extra exactly one time. This one, after a lot of discussion, we came up with a name that I really like. Uh, Alistair derives all of his power from a book, um, and the Book of the Law, I think, and uses it to fuse into very strong invocation monsters. The Dogmaticas are religious, so we're calling them Book of Mormon. You can deliver your lawsuits at your earliest convenience. And then finally, we have P.K. Infernoble. Uh, I don't, I don't like this one. I don't like, I don't like what we picked for this one. I don't like it. But chat says we have to call it PK Fire Emblem. Thank you and good night.